Here we are out here on the lanai of my Florida home. And today we're going to be doing all the things to get this lanai together. In today's video, the lanai makeover. So if you want to see how everything turns out, keep watching. Welcome back to Amethyst Adventures. And if you're new here, I would love to welcome you to the channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video and return as a family member. Today, here I am out on the lanai, honey. I just love calling it that. The screen porch in my Florida home. I just moved in and I've been working on the house room by room. So today, is lanai day and we're gonna get it cleaned up and made over beautiful so we can enjoy this beautiful outdoor space i had to get up close and personal to show you the grind on this ceiling fan and even after i cleaned it i still wasn't happy so you know what i had to do i put a coat of paint on that as well and you know what? It came out pretty good. So let me know what you think in those comments. It may still look bad, but at least it's clean. And this is what the dirty water looks like. A damn shit. Okay, so that's how it's looking. At least it looks nice and bright. boxes were delivered about a week ago but because I was still working on the lanai I didn't um, unbox them yet so I'm gonna do that with you and get everything put together also it's a very dreary day out so perfect project for a dreary day let's get started so according to the package directions I've pulled out all the pieces that I need for the first steps and I have them laid out here the way they are supposed to go. And I also uh, have all the screws laid out, so let's get to it. The next step is attaching the uh, headboard and uh, the sideboard. So you're not going to be able to see me screw that from underneath, but trust me, I will because I don't want it to fall apart. So I'll bring you back when that part is complete. This is the last part. I am up to this step right here. I just placed on part A and I'm going to screw that in. Okay, the last part, and that is putting on the feet. So let's get to that. Last step, and this one seems pretty easy. Two, four sides and a top, and the glass top is right there okay so let's get this last piece put together
have these same beautiful curtain rods that I used in the house. And because they're so high, I don't think they'll rust or be affected by the weather. So we're gonna get these hung up all the way around. Now I've finished with all the hard stuff, let's get into the fun part, decorating. Most of the items I picked up on Amazon. This beautiful rug is called a straw RV mat, but I just love the leaf pattern and the gray and white. I feel like it's going with everything beautifully. Next, let's bring in the cushion covers for the sectional couch and some throw pillows. Now the throw pillows I already had on hand, but the covers were a gift from my sister Denise. Thank you, Denise. Honey, do you see this beautiful pot right here? Well, I had a bunch of them, and I'm not even gonna get into how the movers broke all of my pots and assorted other things. I'll just pop in some pictures here. I was waiting on these. These are the cushion covers for these two chairs. So let me go ahead and get these on, and I'll bring you in for that closer look. other one on and I'll bring so it right I back. I have been waiting for this last set of curtains to come from Amazon. They are now here. So let me get these put up.
hope you enjoyed today's clean and decorate with me and it gave you inspiration and motivation. If you liked today's video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It helps out so much. And if you're not a member of the Amethyst Adventures family, I invite you to join me. Honey, it's so quick and so easy. Just click on that red subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you will know when I upload a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next time.